That was slick. Shades of the big dog, Roman Reigns. Not so much for the ref. I'm not gonna lie, this has all the makings of being a fantastic match. I've been looking forward to this one all night. You know what, props to us for putting this card together. And, and you know what, lie, you know, we aren't the only ones that have been looking forward to this because these two men grew up together. Their fathers started PWF over 22 years ago, but they have never faced each other in one-on-one -on -one action anywhere. So for them to do it here, 22 years in the making, you gotta think that both of these men are taking this match very, very serious. You know, they have both had brief setbacks uh, in their prior years. Kurt Robinson actually just coming back uh, earlier this year from a three to four year hiatus. Uh, left the, the business when he was about 17. He's back at 21. Yeah, he left, went to college, got a degree, got educated, and now he comes back as the CEO of the MAT. And now he has a chance to prove it against one of the coaches here at the Carolina Wrestling Academy, a staple of PWF in the last fashion, Colby Carino. And not gonna lie, Kurt Robinson was dangerous before, a very technical wrestler, uh, and that was at 16 years old. Now he's 21, he has been gone for a while, but he did have some amateur wrestling thrown in between then, so he has learned a lot uh, in his years, and he's grown in size, so he may be even more dangerous now than he was. Kurt Robinson a little hesitant to play Colby's game. You can see him getting frustrated. He knows what he's doing, and that is why he shoots for the waist. Colby grabs the head and we're in the ropes. If there's one thing that Carinos know, it is mind games. And Colby is trying to use his veteran status here. Claiming he may, that he pulled the trunks. He might not be much older than Kurt, but he has been around for a while at this point. And uh, obviously learned a lot from his father. Let's, let's look at this just technical wrestling. We both know that they are both talented. Kurt Robinson trained by Drew Gulak. Colby Carino, a master of the mat himself. That's a little aggressive here. Oh, absolutely. Really trying to show that he is a top guy here. We've and seen his hurt kind of make it not easy work, but that was a easy, easy lift there. Using his size advantage here on Colby. Oh, oh Colby with smart. the technical Better prowess. awareness. Quick on the kick out. Back to a headlock. Just really squeezing the jaw and the cheeks of Kurt Robinson, trying to get under the chin. Trying to take a little bit of that blood flow away from the head. Always smart to reposition into the middle of the ring. Kurt's got those long arms. He can grab those ropes from a lot of different positions to get out of his holds. If he even needs to, that is the CEO of the MAT. Duck under the big line. Back to the gut wrench. Again, using his strength to get Colby up. Oh. But Colby gonna run him through the, the gut wrench lift. Robinson taking to a corner. Colby coming in hot, the front up and over. Robinson turns right back around with the send off. Both of these guys have great oh, speed. Wow. Look at that core great strength. strength. Gets him a right in the gut. To Colby. He's gonna slingshot himself in, off the back, on his feet. He's gonna keep it moving here. Colby with the shot, but he ducks under. Big clothesline, taking Carino off his feet. Not going for the cover, interesting choice. I mean, he's taking a second to catch his breath. He knows it's gonna take a little bit more than that to take out Colby Carino here tonight. Absolutely. So might as well catch your breath while you can, stay in control, absolutely. These guys have, have been around enough that that was one of the first high impact moves we've seen all match because they keep countering each other. It's, they know each other so well. I mean, they have grown up together. They may, they ha may never have wrestled before, never been in the ring together, but I'm sure that they've oh, seen not he's going at 10. past the classic 10 and the crowd surprisingly is able to count along. You know what I and think? Uncle Ben is just letting him have just the, the, it is referee discretion. He wants to let them fight. The referee understands that this is a big money match in PWF. He wants to give the people the what they paid for. Stops his face. He trips him up. Heard him to catch himself. Probably putting him back up top there. Oh, oh wow. stiff shot! That was right on the jaw. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Looking for a backbreaker here, perhaps. Oh, oh, right on the top buckle. Thanks, I can only imagine the effect that that has on the spine of, of Kurt Robinson. Kurt Robinson just dropping to this cement floor, which is only to add to that. My back is broken. 
Yeah, he's just trying to get some distance here from the last bastion of professional wrestling, trying to catch his breath. But Colby, right on top of him, that veteran prowess to keep the action going and to keep applying pressure to your opponent. That can, be, that can do more damage than we see. I mean, that can nice do damage to the kidneys as well. Putting all of his weight on their shoulders. Really making Kurt use a lot of energy to get out of these covers here. Looks like Colby looks like he's got a hammer lock applied. He does. Wrenching on the shoulder. Kurt Robinson in a seated position. Colby Greer mocking the support from the crowd for the CEO of the MAT, Kurt Robinson. We're trying to wear him out here. Just take away the ability to breathe and that stamina. That strain on that shoulder is gonna have more blood flow going to that area, taking away from areas that need it more. I mean, he's got it everywhere. Kurt fighting back for him. Not letting Colby just have his way with him. You gotta admire that because Colby is a tough competitor, especially when Colby's in control. Big thunderous shot. Colby competes frequently in death matches, so you know he's very tough. There's not much that you can do to him that's going to keep him down. Could stand a lot of punishment. We have seen Colby Carino get thrown through doors, through glass, through chairs, anything you can imagine him getting hit with, he's been hit with, and he still finds a way to come back. So that's going to be a tall mountain for Kurt Robinson. You hear the phrase, jack of all trades, but a master of none. And you know what? That does not apply here. That does not apply to Colby Carino. Any style match he's in, he can dissect it, just like he's dissecting Kurt Robinson here right now. Robinson every corner of the ring and just giving him these big shots. They really just take the win. They take the life out of you. Oh, oh but the duck. Coming with the back to life. Zone. Kurt gonna fire back. He's firing back. He's firing back, but you can tell that the win has been taken out of him. He's throwing the shots very soon. Oh. All the way across the ring. Oh. Big and Zaguri. Beautifully executed by Colby Carino. The air being driven out of his lungs wasn't enough. He had to take that brutal shot to the head for the following insecurity there. Robinson trying Big to attempt the reversal and just falling into the corner. He can barely stay on corner. his feet at this point. Colby was definitely going to follow that up with some, time, some kind of offense. Just but Kurt can't even keep his balance now. His back is just absolutely destroyed. The back and that equilibrium, they've been knocked out. I mean, that insecurity was right on the ear. You can only really imagine what his bones inside the ear vibrating, causing that equilibrium to, to, to go off. He couldn't even stay on his feet. Colby Carino letting the crowd have a piece of his mind just playing with Kurt Robinson. God. Oh, beautiful roll up by Kurt Robinson with the stack. Oh, but he, he hits the ref. Out the referee. That is why positioning is so important for referees. Junior official there for the shoulders. Kurt holds on. The shoulders. Beautiful He's evasion. He's gonna pick up some steam here. Gonna try and pick up the pace. Shotgun drop kick, taking him off the apron. But look, he fell on that hurt back. It's gonna take him a second to get up, but he's. He's earned himself a few seconds to breathe, too. He's definitely feeling the effects of this match. And these are two tough competitors, guys. We have seen the rise of Kurt Robinson here in PWF. Fantastic matches, fantastic showings. Some victorious, some not, but he never gives up, and he gets better every time he's out there. He has given great showings here at PWF. He's, he's easily working his way to the top and becoming a fan favorite. So Absolutely. Even I mean, in losing efforts. Oh. And, and, I mean, Colby Carino, also a fan favorite. Of Kurt Robinson dangerous. hooking up for a pile driver. Oh, it seems. The back is already hurt. Can we get to the oh, oh, no. no. He gets him up. This oh, could no. be bad news for Kurt Robinson. Oh, oh the hardest oh, point of the ring. ring. That back is just the done. The damage was already he there. Absolutely the past that guy's The referee might have to step in and stop this. Kobe wants him to count. That is that ruthless, sick mind of Kobe Carino right there. The referee counting from the outside of the ring. I've never it's also good for him to be there to check on uh, Kurt right now. He's In case he doesn't want to give up, that's correct. He could yeah. have to be uh... The crowd rallying behind the CEO of the MAT in this match. 22 years in the making, Colby Carino with the baseball slide. He saw Kurt get to his feet. He doesn't want to give him any more time in the ring. He said, if you're going to get in the ring, I'm going to put you in the ring. 
I'm going to end this match. He wants to keep inflicting punishment. Club just to the upper point. At this point, Kurt Robinson is just simply trying to survive for the career. And that is, that is a tall task. Beautiful yeah, European uppercut. Beck, Beck, Kobe's little brother, they're cheering him on right now. Oh, right in front of him, though. Karabson hooks a suplex. Oh, Tilt my goodness. Off, backbreaker. I will say, he you better is, be grateful that that was just on Kobe's knee and not on the cement. He better find a chiropractor, that's for sure. I mean, we had the referee count all the way up to seven, maybe even eight when Kobe broke it. Now the referee is just, he's just hoping this match ends. The referee is just, he's just No, this isn't going to happen. He's letting it go on because he knows that this means so much to both of these gentlemen here. To both of these, these competitors, this match means so much. This is, this is like a family feud, these two brothers fighting. Jockeying for position. It's Carino. Do we think Kurt will be able to get? Oh, very oh, smart. Sniper. Switching his hips. He'll be able to kick Kobe, Kobe joining up. up there his back to has taken leverage. a lot of damage. Switching his hips again, ring. transitioning into the ring. Kobe gets himself in the ring. These men going back and forth with this suplex. Neither men willing to give in. I don't know how Kurt Robinson has the fight in him right now after all of the damage his back has taken. I mean, you could see those welts, those marks on his back. Oh! A brain, brain buster! Both men are down. Colby Carino immediately grabbing his head. And there's no mystery why. We just watched Colby Carino get dumped right on his head. But that might be the opening that Kurt Robinson needs. I mean, Colby, even though he's moving, he's getting to his feet quicker, he is obviously rocking. That extensive damage to the back, it did not allow him to get Colby Carino fully over. Look at the eyes of Carino. You can see his equilibrium. He is just off after that brain he's buster. Shook. But he's fighting back. Oh. Oh! Big wow. Alabama slam. With the jackknife pin, and Kurt able to get the shoulders up. Somehow, some way. I don't know how he's kicking out of this. The resiliency. Well, he's getting frustrated because he's like the big brother in this situation. He's older. He's been around longer. But the little brother will stay down. Grabbing Kurt. Big punch to the chin. Right to the jaw. Props to Kurt for being able to withstand a shot like that and stay with his feet. Props to Kurt for not following up the top turnbuckle after it's driving his form through his chest. What a crazy fucking shot. Jockey for a position for suplexes again. Robinson using that foot to block on the rope. Shuts him off. Big flying elbow. He's having to exert so much energy that he can't capitalize. That back is totally shot. You can see the welts from up here already starting to grow. Kurt Robinson is staying alive. The president uses, we don't know if that's from the ring apron. We don't know if that's from the clubs of Kobe Carino. We don't know if that's from the backbreaker. But he has welts. It is showing that this is a battle. He might not be able to capitalize on those big moments, but we can notice that Colby Carino staying down longer and longer every time Kirk can create that separation. We are creating an even playing field here, folks. With every shot, this match gets even more personal and personal. And you know, it seems that the adrenaline has kicked in for Kurt Robinson because he seems to be getting up quicker and quicker. And fighting back with more resiliency than he had before. Colby Carino is an absolute menace. He wants to be hit so he can hit even harder. And he tries to go for that big line and here's Kurt. Big exploder suplex from Kurt. How's he gonna capitalize here? Off the roads, big sliding lariat into the cover. And you notice Colby gets the shoulder roll. Colby's Carino head hitting the, hitting the mat. That it already uh, injured head from that brain buster. Both of these men, I mean, doing a great job of focusing their offense. Absolutely. And setting up for another brain buster, perhaps. Colby Carino not wanting that to happen again. Switch, push. Oh, and he misses the line saw. Colby had that scouted a mile away. Colby, power bomb. 
Robinson kicks out, but Colby's right no, on top. Colby not done with We've him. seen this before. Oh, is this going to be it? It's going to hook the arms. Locking the arms up. Styles clash. That's it. That's got to be it. Perfect rollover, securing the shoulders. And Robinson is Somehow, still able to kick out. Some way. He won't give up. He's got too much heart in him. He's naive. This is shocking resiliency. I mean, not necessarily from a member of the King's Gate, but from, For but sure. from an up and comer like Kurt Robinson, this is shocking resiliency. Absolutely. It's shocking, but sometimes, you know, this referee might have to step in because he's going to keep fighting back no matter what. He, the damage could be permanent. Absolutely. Ultimately, we want to win, but we want to be able to fight another day. But Colby Carino may not have that same luck. The high rent district here. And he puts the knees up, took a little too long. Kurt finally getting up in time to capitalize here. Is it again? Jackhammer, could this be it? Kobe gets the shoulder up. At the last possible millisecond. The referee almost did not see that shoulder come up. That was almost a three Kurt count. thought this was over. Kurt thought he had it won, but if we know anything about Kobe Carino is that he can take a beating and he could come back from a punishment unlike anyone else. Robinson up top waiting for Kobe. What is he saying? Take a high risk. Oh, oh my that goodness. Goodness. Right under the ball. Right on the button. You know that he is not feeling well after that one. Oh, he kicks Kobe out. gets a shoulder up, and he's going to turn it over. He's going to get the Boston Crab here. He does. Boston he Crab gets over. In. He needs to put his weight on that lower he's doing back. The Kobe, pressure. Kobe's doing a good job of keeping that shoulder he's underneath him. Not allowing Robinson to turn him completely flat. Oh, tripping him up. Kobe turns around. The now submission Kobe of his own. Maybe ties him up looking for a clover leaf here. Relief. And he oh. gets the tie oh, leaf. Oh, with he's the got pressure the in the back of the head. This has got to be it. Oh, is not going to be able to stand this for long. He's got to figure something out here. Will the CEO have to step in? Will the CEO of MIT TAP? It's over. He Ring did the bell. It He's is just going to pass out, from the, out from the pain instead. He passed out from the pain. Kobe's not letting Goodness. go. Kobe. Look at, look at this guy. Oh, my God. I, you know what? That is resiliency. That is toughness. That is great. That is the last bastion, Kobe Carino. You know what? These fans here can boo Kobe Carino. But I commend those efforts. You know, sometimes you really got to teach a guy a lesson. Oh, Kobe putting his hands on him. Oh! Referee Ben, not ben. taking any crap. That may not have been a good idea, but Kobe Carino doing the smart thing and not putting his hands on the official. But you know again. what, Kobe Carino, he had to teach that guy a lesson, you know. Showing for a match 22 years in the making. Ladies and gentlemen, we witness history here at PWF. And maybe there was some, you know, a little wishy washy with the end here. But hey, at the end of the day, Kurt Robinson walks away with the W, right? You know, personally, I think it's crap that the referee reversed that decision. I mean, clearly, Kobe Carino beat Kurt Robinson here. That Kurt is Robinson, true. And he had to teach Kurt Robinson a lesson for, for all of the things that he withstood in that ring. I mean, give him kudos, but she's got to know when to stay down.